Welcome to my channel, Dilip's Passion for Trees. Let us look at this magnificent tree. It is called Hong Kong Orchid Tree, also known as Black's Bahunia. Botanical name is Bahunia cross Blackiana. In fact, it is a hybrid between two Bahunia species called Bahunia purpurea and Bahunia vericata. In this video, I will discuss about how this incredible, most fascinating tree was first discovered in Hong Kong. Why it is so popular and most desirable in a landscape. How you can distinguish this tree from other Bahunia species. And also I will cover about its uses and methods of propagation and cultivation so that you will be benefited. Now, let me talk on the first point. How was Hong Kong tree discovered? As already spoken, Bohunia cross blackiana is a natural hybrid tree. It was first discovered accidentally in 1880s by Father Pere Jean Marie Delavay, a French missionary and botanist near the ruins of a house along the shore of western Hong Kong island near Pok Phulam. The missionary collector procured the cuttings of this tree and propagated in their gardens and from there it was introduced into the Hong Kong Botanic Gardens and later on across the world. So it is considered that all Hong Kong trees today would be clones of the originally discovered tree as this tree has been vegetatively reproduced due to its sterility. A British botanist called S. T. Dunn first made scientific description of this tree in 1908. The specific epithet Blakiana was given by him to honor Sir Henry Black and Lady Black. Sir Henry Black was British governor of Hong Kong who took much interest to develop Hong Kong Botanic Gardens. Coming to the second point, why is Hong Kong tree so desirable in landscape? It is a medium sized partially deciduous leguminous tree which can attain a height up to 13 meters with about 7 meters spread. It produces most beautiful large orchid-like blooms which appear in multiple shades of purple, rose and pink during summer, fall and early winter. Its attractive leaf forms and showy flowers throughout the winter when little color is seen in the garden makes this tree more popular. It has a fairly long flowering period from November to April Sometimes its bloom is seen in all months with variable intensity. Cross Blackiana is the most beautiful and popular among all Bohunias. In his report in 1908, S. T. Dunn himself mentioned that out of the numerous cultivated species of this charming family Fabaceae, there is probably none that equals it either in the beauty or the profusion of its flowers. This tree has got few other good attributes. As the tree is sterile, it does not drop long pots to make debris on the ground unlike other Bohunia species do. It does not become invasive in landscape and also its surface roots are not problematic. Now coming to the third point. How does it differ from other Bohunia species? Sometimes people confuse Bohunia cross Blackiana with Bohunia purpurea and Bohunia vericata, especially when not in flower. However, by little careful observation, one can identify it easily. In case of Bohunia cross Blackiana, Flowering time is usually from November to April, 
while in case of Bohunia purpurea, it is from September to December, and in case of Bohunia variegata, flowering takes place around March. In case of Bohunia crossblackiana, flowers are produced in long racemes, while in case of Bohunia purpurea and Bohunia variegata, flowers are produced in short racemes. In case of Bohunia crossblackiana, petals are striking purple red. The central petal is darker with deep scarlet marking. In case of Bohunia purpurea, petals are pink to pale pink. Also, petals are long and thin. While in case of Bohunia variegata, variety variegata, petals are pink, lavender, white or purplish. Central petal is darker. In case of variety candida, petals are white, central pet petal is splashed with lime green. In case of Bohunia cross blackiana, we get five stamens. Three are long and in case of Bohunia cross blackiana, there will be no pot formation. While in case of both Bohunia purpurea and Bohunia variegata, pot formation takes place. Sometimes we can see pot formation simultaneously about its usefulness. Hong Kong tree is of great horticultural value and hence has been extensively planted as an ornamental tree in gardens, park, along roadsides, road median, etc. in many warm subtropical and tropical countries. It is well suited for planting in urban landscape. We can plant it near a deck or a patio and in recreational play area. You can use its flowers as cut flowers for vases and bowels. In Hong Kong, its bilobed handsome leaf is considered a symbol of wisdom and used as bookmarks. It is the national flower of Hong Kong and also has been used as radio call sign in air traffic communication by Hong Kong Airlines. This tree has also got potential to be used in traditional medicines to cure various ailments. Now let us talk about its propagation and cultivation. Due to its hybrid nature, usually it does not produce seed pods. If at all produced, rarely the seeds do not germinate. So, it needs to be propagated vegetatively through cuttings, layerings or grafting onto seedlings of Bohunia purpurea and Bohunia variegata. Cutting technique is considered more effective, fast and cheaper. However, cutting survival rate is influenced by age of mother tree, cutting collection time, part of the mother tree from where cutting is collected, use of growth regulators and medium use for rooting. Cutting segments of about 15 cm long from one year old stem located in lower canopy are collected in early morning and the basal portion is immersed in 3000 ppm indole butic acid alcoholic solution for 10 seconds. After treatment, the basal portions of the cuttings are deepened in plastic tubes or rooting tray containing potting mixture comprised of sand and pit moss. Thereafter, kept in greenhouse under an intermittent misting system. The rooted cuttings after four to six weeks are pricked and transplanted in suitable size container, preferably 8 inch by 12 inch or 10 inch by 16 inch size, filled with suitable potting mixture. 
saplings of suitable height are planted in 60 cm cubic or 75 cm cubic pits at about 6 to 8 meter apart. Selected site for planting should be such that it can be protected from wind and cold. Hong Kong tree is fragile and is liable to break easily. Proper staking should be provided for initial years of planting. It grows best in full sun but can be grown in partial shade also. It can be grown in a variety of soils like clay, sand, loam, etc. except saline soils with good drainage condition. By pruning, you can retain single trunk to make it strong structure. Aggressive pruning is to be avoided as the tree is sensitive to heat. One can grow this majestic tree in large size container also. Lastly, I conclude with my view. Since all the Hong Kong trees found presently in the world would be genetically identical clones of the original single tree discovered, it lacks genetic diversity and hence could be susceptible to epidemics in future. So, the tree breeders should make effort to generate new hybrid through rehybridization between its parental species. Thanks for watching. We will again meet in my next video soon.